Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, we've got some big changes coming, but first, look at that fog there. Yeah, that has been an issue in some of the areas today, right, Nate? Yeah, mainly south of uh, Great Salt Lake. So, of course, the Great Salt Lake, the lowest point of the valley, that's where the cold air pools as temperatures cool off and the air becomes saturated, especially within the inversion as all of our exhaust and things create water vapor as a result of the combustion. We're seeing uh, the uh, increased moisture generate that patchy fog overnight. We're seeing that across I-80 eastbound uh, as you head just west of Salt Lake City towards Tooele County. Right now, this is a look from our studio. Things are pretty quiet. We've got the Colonial Flag shot. Almanac today, we did have temperatures still above average, so even with inversions in place, it hasn't impacted our daytime highs. We're still trending above normal. 37's average, we hit 44, not a record of 59, so we could be warmer. We've been hotter. Fortunately, all things winter are coming back into the mix as we get into midweek and into the weekend. Southern mountain areas under that winter weather advisory uh, through uh, noon, to, or from noon tomorrow, I should say, through 11 o'clock clock Thursday evening. Uh, forecast generally for 5 to 10 inches of snow for those southern mountain areas. Now some of the central mountains will certainly see some accumulations uh, usually uh, anywhere from 4 to 8 inches. I'd plan on slick roads blowing, or blowing snow with some blustery winds as well as this system pushes in. Timing it out for you, I mentioned the storm track just to the south of the state will favor that southern area of Utah, but we will still see some moisture trickle into northern Utah I think tomorrow afternoon into Thursday morning. Could see some light snow fall as well, mainly over the mountain elevations, but it's not our only chance. We've got several storm systems that are lined up to move through the state by the weekend. Then this one, in fact, Friday uh, afternoon into Saturday morning could generate some light snow showers. It's a pretty quick, uh, quick moving storm system. And then our next storm system this is storm number three. This one moves in late Saturday into Sunday should bring the heaviest amount of precipitation with it. In fact, some of the models are looking at really good totals for our mountain areas with anywhere from 15 to 30 inches popping up is still an early estimate It's still far enough out timing and intensity could change but at least it's showing up with an active pattern showing up for next week too possibly storm number four sometime around Tuesday with sights on a storm number five for Thursday so I hope it stays uh, this way with the long range future cast nice to see some action finally from other nature snow potential then through Thursday evening again generally that five to ten inch range for some of those southern mountain areas the valleys in southern Utah could see anywhere from two to four inches I think for Cedar City, Beaver, anywhere from one to three. Northern valleys, we might see a few snowflakes. Anything that might accumulate, I suspect, would be south of I-80 into the southern part of Salt Lake Valley, Utah County area. Could see a little bit of minor accumulations. Highs on Wednesday, mid 40s. Should be 48 in St. George. And in fact, we're looking at rain showers increasing throughout late morning with isolated potential on Thursday, 46 on Friday, mid 40s on Saturday, rain and snow moving in Sunday, windy conditions and temperatures below average for southern Utah. Finally, into next week, us will see uh, for the northern Utah at least 44 with rain snow chances, isolated snow into Thursday, scattered snow on Friday, snow late Saturday into Sunday with more snow showers and bitter cold temperatures into next week. Just 29 for the high on Monday, guys. Thank you so much, Nate. We appreciate it.